We've played with a lot of NASAs here on Tech Team GB, and this has got to be the best one so far. Stick around for the review of the QNAP TS-435 Mini. Check out our website at techteamgb.co.uk for more info on both this and many other products, and also up-to-date news on all things tech. Stick around for this awesome video. So on the front of the device you can see that there's lots of glossy plastic. This is actually all around the device and is a bit of a shame because it is a real fingerprint magnet. Now on the bottom you're going to find the uh, power button as well as the USB 3 port with the copy function, which is pretty cool as it allows you to copy off anything that's on a memory stick or back up the NAS. Up on the top you find uh, loads of, uh, sort of indicator LEDs, mostly for the four hard drive bays inside, as well as an IR receiver for the included remote, LAN, uh, just a general uh, activity, and also a uh, USB 3, and the big bar on the top is the power LED. Not on the back you'll find the 12 volt DC input from the power brick, a reset switch, two USB 2 ports, two gigabit LAN ports, two USB 3 ports, and an HDMI port, all of which we'll talk about more later. Now inside the device or the NAS you're probably going to find that uh, it has uh, depending on which model you get, an Intel Quad Core Celeron running at 1.2 GHz, 8 GB of DDR3 RAM, four, up to 4 drivers as I said, uh, dual GB Ethernet and also an HDMI, HDMI port for HTPC use. Again, we'll talk about that more later. Now, the general use of this device um, installing drives is very, very simple. So as you can see, there are four drive bays, all of which come uh, empty no matter uh, which situation you get it in, unless you're very special and find somewhere who preloads the drive for you. But inside, uh, we're actually going to be using uh, two drives, one 6TB WD RED, um, and then we're also going to be using a 4TB uh, RED Pro, um, just because those are the drives that WD sent us. Um, we're actually running in RAID, uh, RAID 1 um, for redundancy, just to see the performance-wise, but generally speaking, um, obviously they're not the same drive size, so it's not ideal, but nonetheless, it's still, um, it's still awesome, it's still pretty fast, and uh, ideally would have liked to run them all, but we do also have another um, 2 bay NAS as well that we're going to check out as well, so that's pretty cool. The top also holds on via magnets, which is quite nice and allows you to easily take it in and out. To install the drives in one of the sleds, it's very easy, just take off the two clips on the side, pop the hard drive in, and then line up the holes in the side, which generally just means fitting the drive in the right place, and then pushing the clips into the side. Once you've done that, the drive's secure and you can throw it in. Just make sure it's the right way around, um, otherwise it probably won't fit in the the, uh, the slot, uh, the, the cage itself, but um, it won't also fit in the uh, the drive depending on which, uh, which way the SATA ports are connected. You can also fit in 2.5 inch drives just by screwing them in. Now on the bottom you can see there's some ventilation, as well as four very sturdy, very thick rubber feet, um, which keep the device pretty quiet and there's also a little flap and I wonder what could be behind here Oh, yeah, the removable uh, DDR3 uh, Sodem RAM. So this is really awesome if you bought the 2 gig version of the NAS or you know Your company did for example and you want to switch this out to be able to run ZFS or run virtual machines Yes, this machine can run this NAS can run virtual machines which you can run remotely um, If you want to change that out you can now just to show you where I have it set up, I'm, uh, uh, we actually have BT Fiber, so I uh, hooked up the dual gigabit ethernet to that just to show you what we're testing with. Now the remote itself is actually quite nice, it comes with an included battery, you just have to pull out the tab, um, and it's, it's nice that it comes with it, it's nice that it comes with the battery as well, uh, and also... Um, it has some nice functionality in general, so you know if you wanted to use this as a media center, which you definitely can do, and I definitely recommend if you don't already have a media center, um, then you know yeah, the, the remote allows you to do that. There's also apps you can download as well, um, which are actually pretty decent and uh, do a great job of pretty much everything you could need from NAS from your phone. Most of them are iOS and Android, although some of them are just Android. Now this is the setup process here, and if you, if you want to see you know more detail, feel free to let us know in the comment down below. If you want to see a full video on you know just the the software side of these NASes, we've got the um, the TS four three five mini, which is the one we're looking at now, and we've also got the two bay or a, a two bay version of this as well. So that's pretty cool. Now just to list off some of the things that this supports with the dual gigabit and uh, Ethernet itself, you can actually it does support teaming, which is really awesome, which allows you to basically double the throughput of the uh, the connection to double the speed effectively um, which is really nice and also generally speaking uh, it allows for effectively having way more devices uh, being able to pull and put data onto the NAS at the same time um, which is just really nice. 
So the uh, the UI itself um, is actually really really nice. We checked this out uh, a while ago on one of the uh, on pretty much the first NAS video we did. Actually, it was for QNAP as well, um, and it was uh, it was all right back then, but it's definitely gotten a lot better, and I definitely recommend it now. Um, so the first thing uh, is the sort of finder window. Um, effectively, uh, it's very decent and allows you to set up you know everything very easily. The the um, so software wizard is very easy um, and once you have everything downloaded and installed the hybrid desk station allows you to plug in a mouse and keyboard and plug in the HDMI port to monitor and use this as a PC you can literally use this as a Linux based PC as a desktop replacement that is awesome uh, in my opinion you can also, as I said, run virtual machines off this. There's also the My Cloud link, which allows you to remotely access the NAS and again, run virtual machines from wherever else in the world, which is awesome. There's also uh, something I downloaded, which is the um, Chromecast and uh, AirPlay app, which allows you to stream to Apple TVs. Now this did work and it was fantastic to be able to just have this work um, and you know, being able to sort of launch this from my phone to be able to, you know, my Android phone, I should say, uh, and then play on my uh, my Apple TV. Uh, that was pretty awesome, and I was really excited about that. So, so that's really cool. Now, in general, there are some fantastic features. Uh, also, just to sh uh, shout out the um, the Q Finder app for Windows and also I believe Mac and Linux as well was pretty fantastic. It's very, it's a very sort of. Uh, refined UI and allows you to add network drives, see uh, just see the network folders um, and all that sort of stuff and also you know just incredible amount of detail for a software suite on you know Windows for example as opposed to just the web UI. So this is really really nice and I, I really do like it. It's possibly one of my favorite if not my favorite NAS software around especially for Windows and it is one that I'm probably not going to be deleting after this review. I'm actually probably going to be switching from my Asus Tor 202TE to the this NAS, um, possibly both because this is 4 drive versus 2 drive, but also the Joe Gabe Ethernet and the fact that this is, a, um, uh, in my opinion at least, from my experience, a more versatile NAS um, and general speed tests, as you can expect, generally are saturated by the 1 gigabit connection on my PC. And in the torture test I did, um, I was running from uh, it was two phones, two iPads, two desktop PCs, and it's, uh, you know, uh, so that was like, um, you know, media playing on the phones and, and iPads and then two PCs copying and reading from uh, as well and it genuinely sat at 100 megabits per second for both of them as well as being able to stream 1080p videos onto the iPads and phones as well so you can get the idea that this, this thing can handle itself and that's really awesome. There's also loads more included uh, stuff including web server, antivirus, um, and just a whole host of stuff. So if you want to see a video on that, as I said, leave a comment down below. Leave a like on the video as well if you want to see that sort of stuff. Uh, that this that video, for example, um, of just all the things that this NAS can do. All uh, you know, and sort of a closer walkthrough for the apps and stuff like that. So as I said, let me know in the comments down below. Now to talk about the pros and cons for this, it's definitely awesome to have two gigabit Ethernet ports. The HDMI port is really cool as you can use it as a media center. It's got uh, you know Netflix streaming capability, full YouTube. There's actually full Chrome and Firefox on here, which is awesome. Um, as I said, there's great support. You can, as I said, you can actually use it as a full PC if you wanted it to. And the four drive support is awesome. The only thing is that while this is a showpiece um, and would look great in most living rooms. Um, the glossy plastic does make it a bit difficult to clean and stuff like that. So, um, in you know, just in in my sort of in my head, it's not perfect. Um, value for money. This is actually, uh, very least for the two gigabyte RAM version, this is a fantastic value for money. Um, and for what it can do, this is just brilliant. Um, for performance, the only reason I got a four here was just because uh, it does have on-the-fly transcoding and stuff like that. But because it's a quad-core Celeron as opposed to something a little bit more powerful, um, it's not as powerful as some of the other solutions especially like a custom built NAS which obviously would be more expensive but you know I I'm, I'm have to compare it to uh, everything equally um, for the rest it's going to get a 5 because honestly the functionality is great besides the glossy plastic which actually kind of adds to the style um, this looks uh, sort of fantastic and uh, Tech Team BB score has got to be 5 so it's going to get the Tech Team BB approved award it was very close on the tier 2 uh, the top tier award um, but I, I guess it's just not um, the most perfect NAS in the world but it's certainly close. So if you want to see any more detail on this, we're going to be including a bit more information on you know, the setup process and stuff like that on the written review on the website as well. So feel free to check that out. 
um, and check out anything else on the website. We've got um, daily articles as well. So uh, you know, if you want the latest and greatest in tech news, check that out there. Now, if you want to, um, please do leave a like. As I said, if you want to see a specific video on the software of this NASA and, and the, the QNAP NASAs in general, then feel free to leave a comment down below as let us know. Um, would you buy one of these NASAs? Um, I'd, that'd be something I'd be interested to hear. Do you have a NAS yourself? Are you more of just a, a PC and keep it all in a hard drive in your PC? Um, or do you care about the redundancy? That sort of thing. Um, and of course, there, there is loads more that we didn't cover in this video, um, but just we had to keep it relatively short, so uh, I hope you understand. If you want to know anything else leave us a uh, note in the comments down below and we may be may we may be able to make a video on that in the future so as I said uh, as I said uh, you know like and uh, if you haven't already subscribed and uh, other than that yeah we'll see you all in the next video so thanks for watching this Titan GB video uh, you've probably heard enough of me already so I'm going to finish off by saying please subscribe if you haven't already it helps us out a hell of a lot and it means that just the world is in general Please do feel free to check out some of our recent videos both down below, um, they're uh, more recent ones and they're certainly awesome. Uh, feel free to click my face for the website and click all the links over there for our Amazon affiliate uh, link, our social media and also our YouTube channel as well. Other than that, as I said, please subscribe, like, share, favourite and all the other many things possible and we'll see you all in the next video.